Happy Divine Mercy Sunday. The common theme that runs throughout the readings today is that of new birth. In the Collect, we hear about the spirit in whom we are reborn. And we see what this new life looks like in the Acts of the Apostles from the first reading, how they live together in fellowship and communion, in the breaking of bread and prayers, and in good works. But where does this new life come from? It's born from the heart of God, from His divine mercy. The Gospel centers around the person of St. Thomas. Jesus takes Thomas right into that area that's most painful, right into those things that fill us with the most shame, with the most guilt, where we had actually killed God. And he takes his hand and he says, you know, put your fingers in my hand and put your hand in my side and do not be unbelieving, but believe. That's right where Jesus brings St. Thomas, as if to say there's nowhere where my mercy can't go. Prior to that, at the beginning of the gospel, when he came to see the apostles, he breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit, which calls to mind the creation of man. When Adam was formed from the clay of the ground, he wasn't a living being until God breathed into him, breathed this divine life, breathed his soul. And now this new life comes through the breath of Jesus and he tells them to receive the Holy Spirit. They are becoming a new creation in the resurrected Christ. So today we celebrate the great solemnity of Divine Mercy Sunday. This is a feast that was instituted in the year 2000 by St. John Paul II. And the message of Divine Mercy Sunday is that there is nothing and nowhere where we can go that God's mercy cannot find us. His mercy endures forever. As he told St. Faustina, all of the sins of mankind from the beginning of time to the end are about one drop of water compared to the ocean of my divine mercy. And so today is a day of special grace where we can bring all of our hopes, our fears, our joys, our dreams, all the people we love, all of those places in ourselves that um, we haven't yet offered to the Lord or maybe that we're afraid to and place them in the abode of His divine mercy. And to bring all of our family members, those that are furthest away from God, um, and bring all sinners into His love and mercy, that they too might be open to encountering the living God and being created anew.